So what's happening guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about breaking generational curses in your family. And this is for all the chosen ones watching this video, because you guys are the ones that are going through this, as I have, as I know people who have, people I'm very close to today. So this is what it really is, bro. I mean, it makes sense when you think about it like this. And when I was younger, I needed answers for a very long time. I couldn't understand why some of the things were happening the way they were happening. But with time, it makes sense. Some of us just are not meant to fit in with our family, with our relatives, with friends we even used to know. You get to that point, you get to that age where everything changes. And uh, when you were younger, you fit in more, but it changes a lot once you get up to the age of an adult. And even when I was younger, bro, for example, I always felt like I was different. I always felt like I had something a little extra compared to even the kids around me, adults, whatever else. I just felt like I had something a little bit extra. And as time kept going on, it told me that those thoughts I had even as a young kid, it told me that those thoughts were true. Because once I got up to the age of an adult, everything started to change. Whenever I started to change, and that's the thing. You guys might think people change up on you and all this stuff, which some people do, but it's actually you, bro, that is changing. People are just not liking the change that you're making, so they change up. But you're the one that's changing. They're not changing at all. It's you that's changing for the better. That's what makes people change up on you. That's what I've come to know. And uh, that's why you think like, what the heck's going on? Like people are just, they're hating on me now. People switching up on me now. What is happening? Well, they don't like your progress. <laughs> they don't like the man you're becoming. They don't like the woman you're becoming. Sometimes your old family's gonna hate on you. Sometimes every person from your past will turn their backs on you because you're just simply doing things that they probably never thought you would do in your life. And this is what we call a chosen one. This is what we call being the black sheep of your family, no matter how hard you try to be close to them, no matter how much you do, no matter how much you try to be nice to them, no matter how much you try to stay close, it just don't work. Deep down, these people know you're different and they don't like it. They would rather you act like them. They would rather you be on the same page as them. They would rather those things. They don't want you to be yourself. As much as they might lie and fake and pretend that they do, they don't. They want y'all to, it flies in here. They want y'all to be below them. They want y'all to act like them, to be like them, to not be above them, to not shoot higher than them. And if you do, you see what happens. You see the results. This is what being the black sheep of the family is all about. And we all have to live those experiences. You see it happening in plain sight. You see the way people switch up just like this because you have gotten better. You have made better moves. You're further ahead in life. So they feel the need to just go against you. They're not with you. They're not happy for your wins. They're not clapping. They're not looking at you smiling. They're not being welcoming. They're not greeting you in. They have this attitude towards you. They have this 
cold presence towards you. And some of them is just going to give you attitude straight up. This is what it's like. And it's just because of who you're becoming. That's all it is. You didn't do anything to them. Nothing even happened, bro. Nothing personally, nothing. All you're doing is trying to be better and feel better about yourself so you can go on in life and do bigger and better things. And to them, it's almost insulting. It's damn near insulting. And this is why chosen ones end up with people completely different than they've ever grown up around. The people I'm closest with today, bro, are the furthest from me. Even my girl today, bro, she's not from where I'm from. Hours away. Not from where I'm from, different. I'm not close with nobody I grew up around, bro. Even my best friends, they're scattered in different places in the world. And even my better friends, they're not even from here. They're at least, a, a, as well, a couple hours away. <laughs> That's the thing, bro. This is the definition of being a black sheep of the fam. It's the definition of it. And this is why my videos are so relatable to so many of you guys, because I have lived this. I have been through it. I have understood it in ways some of you might not even just yet right now, because I didn't always either, but I do now at 29. I fully understand it. And I knew this stuff even a couple of years ago, but the, the level that I understand it right now is even higher and higher and higher. Things just keep making more sense. And there's something about it too. Because I've got to tell you guys something right now. I have seen people I grew up around. Every now and then, I come across people I have grew up around. I see them. Maybe a lot of years go by. You finally see somebody you used to know. And um, it seems good at first. At first, until you're around them a little bit more, and it's no longer good. That is because they start to realize who you've become. They start to realize you have made moves, you have took steps in your own personal life that they have not. That's when all that hate is going to come back up again. The envy, the weird looks, the side eye. They're going to be looking at you funny, bud. That's something else I've come to notice. You might think, okay, they're more mature now. They have grew up now. They're, they're better now. They don't hate me no more. Not initially. You get around them long enough. You will, you will come to realize they have not changed. You have. When they start to recognize the changes you've made, as they keep asking you questions, they're scalping you out, they're seeing how, how you're doing, what you've done, what you're currently doing for work. Da -da 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 -da. That's when everything starts to get weird, bro. Because they're, you know, they're trying to gauge where you're at in life. They're trying to gauge who you've become. They're trying to compare themselves to you. And when they realize you have took many, many, many steps above what they have, they can do nothing but envy it. They can't, they can't be cool with that. They can't be cool with you because they feel stupid that you have made those moves and they simply have not. They just cannot live with that fact. That's why no matter what, bro, people from your past, they're in your past for a reason. They're not meant to be in your future, guys. They are not. I'm telling you right now. You might think you just grew apart from old friends one day you'll link up again. One day you'll be friends again. One day everything's going to make sense again. 
if you're the black sheep of the family. It never will. They're in your past for a reason. They're, they're gone, bro. The life you have lived with them once upon a time, that was then. That was then. You're never going to really see them again like that, bro. And it's sad to say, it's sad sometimes how life works, but it's how life works. We are all here for a very limited amount of time. You should just enjoy the people that's around you when things are going very well, while they're still around. Or even some girl you guys might be with. Enjoy her while she's still around, bro, because she might not be in a couple months. She might not be in half a year. She might not be in a year. She might be for 50 or 60 more years. Bottom line, enjoy her while she's still around. Live by that motto. If you had friends from high school or something and you were close with them for two, three, four years, enjoy that while that's still going on. Because it ain't going to last forever. If I can look back at my, young, at my younger self, I would tell myself that. I would tell myself, just enjoy that while it lasts because this phase and this chapter is going to come to an end. These people ain't your friends forever. And it's just the way it's going to be. You're not even going to have beef or animosity towards all of them. And there's not going to be nothing there. But they won't be a part of your future. So enjoy that while it's happening. I have something different in store for you. Is what God's going to say. And if I could look back, I would have told myself that a lot earlier. Because you try to hold on and make things work when you're going in completely different directions than your friends from the past. Completely different directions, bro. And um, it's just something that's not possible to make happen. It is, it is not possible. You will drift from all friends. You will drift. Being a chosen one, being the black sheep of the family, you will drift from the people that used to be in your life in many different phases, bro. The only people you probably won't drift from is the few cool cats you've met along the way as you have discovered your own true self as they have discovered their own true self those are people that's always going to be there bro that and the family you guys create if you even get there if any of us even get there because i didn't get there just yet and you never know what could happen at the end of the day but i'm just saying um You can't expect to just stay close with everybody you used to be close with because it's not going to happen. It could be your own family, bro. This is what being the black sheep is all about. It's the odd one out. A lot of families, bro, they can stick together. Mother, son, son, mother, daughter, father, daughter, mother, siblings. Some people stay very close. And then there's the black sheep of the family that just don't fit in. They were just meant to be with other people. They were just meant to be somewhere different, doing different things with different people. It's just what it is. The worst move you could make is staying in those environments with people you actually don't belong around just because they're your parent, just because they're your sibling. Just because they're your cousin. Just because they're your childhood friend. It don't matter, bro. You will stay a lot unhappier staying in those situations than just moving on with yourself into your future, doing what serves you as a human being, figuring yourself out, doing what you have to do. 
that's going to serve you more than anything else. You're going to be a much happier man or a much happier woman, being a lot closer with people that you actually can vibe with, you can actually relate to. And all the other things, it's just not going to do it for you. It's just too long gone. It's too far gone in the past. It's just not going to work. And the harder you try, the further you get away from having success in it. You will have more success as being the black sheep in the family, having distance from them. That's what I've come to know. The more distance, the better with people that you, you're not really that close with. Past friends and everything, bro. You'll be much better off having distance between them. Yourself and them, lots of distance is what I mean here. Lots of distance. Not closeness again, da 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 da, because they're going to get pissed. They're going to get mad at who you've become. You can be the nicest, most sweetest, kindest person ever, bro. They're just going to be mad at the person you've become. This is what I've come to know. There's nothing you can do about it. You can be as nice to them as anything. There's something about you that they just don't like. You've become something that just, it's just, it's different, bro. It's different than who they are. That's why you have to move on. And the more space you have, the more they can breathe their own air, the more you can breathe your own air. You don't mind each other from a distance, but you get close again. That's when everything starts to turn bad. This is what I've come to know. So last thing here, guys, do not force anything. Do not force friendships, relationships, relations with family, anybody. That's the worst shit you'll do. Trying to stay close with people you don't even belong around. The worst mistake you'll can make. So don't do it. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this take. I know for a fact a lot of you is going to relate to this video. And that is that. So I'll be back with the next. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. We'll see y'all at the top.